Gabrielle Sanez and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is actually something I'm really, really excited about, something that's been super requested. I am actually going to be filming my favorite perfumes. I have a huge, huge perfume collection and it was kind of hard for me to decide if I want to do the whole thing or just like a couple. So I decided just to go ahead and do my top five favorite perfumes just because I felt like I can actually kind of get into the details when it comes to these perfumes. And I feel like I have a very good variety of affordable as well as high-end luxury perfumes. And if you guys end up liking this video, go ahead and leave a comment below and I can actually film a full um, perfume collection. So the first fragrance that I want to talk about is by a brand called Dossier. Dossier is actually sponsoring today's video, so shout out to them. So I was able to pick out my fragrance, and I love, 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 love the fragrance that I picked out. So if you guys don't know, Dossier is like an inspired by type of brand when it comes to fragrances. So they basically make fragrances inspired by the luxury fragrance. And it's crazy because uh, just based on the fragrance that I have, it smells exactly like the fragrance. I've worn this perfume plenty of times and I've got so many compliments on it. So this is the packaging. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly with my lights, but it's just a box. It says dossier right here at the bottom. When you open it up, you get a card. And this card is going to have, on the back, it's going to have the notes. I really hope you guys can see that. But it's going to have the notes of the fragrance that you got. Now, um, I'm going to read. So I'm going to read the notes in a little bit. I'm going to show you all the rest of the packaging first. Um, right here, when you first open the box, it says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. Like I love the fact that they have the notes right here on the front for me to read. Um, it has the name of the fragrance and it has the name of the brand at the bottom. This bottle is 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces. And that is a really, really good amount of perfume for the price point. So the scent that I have here is Oriental Cherry and it's actually inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And y'all, when I tell y'all it smells identical to the perfume, it smells identical to the perfume. I don't actually have the full size bottle of um, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I have the tester. <laughs> Um, because I haven't found it in myself to actually go spend the money on the bottle. But now that I have Dossier on my side, I have this. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read the notes to you guys. The top notes are cherry, almond, cinnamon. The middle notes are cloves, rose, jasmine, plum. And the base notes are Peru, balas <laughs> Peru balsam, <laughs> tonka bean, and vanilla. <laughs> so yeah, um, y'all, this smells so good it literally smells like a cherry but like not a super sweet like childish cherry it smells like a grown like sophisticated cherry <laughs> yeah so mm. and then also the top is it's magnetic like just i don't know just everything about this is so aesthetically pleasing that i'm just i just i love it i love it so yeah um, i'll have the links to this perfume down below i'll have the links to dossier's website down below i'll have coupon codes down below i'll have everything into the description bar so yeah let's move on into the next fragrance so i'm not the type to even buy celebrity perfumes because i feel like a lot of times the scents to me smell kind of like more on the the, the sweet to childish side um but I was very quick when I smelled this on my mentor um she had this on and I was like what do you have on it smells so grown it smells it just smells so good and um yeah she told me it was this and this is actually my second bottle of this I originally had the smaller bottle and I went ahead and bought myself a bigger bottle because I already knew that I wanted this for the long run so yeah this is Rihanna Rebel A Floor um it just it just smells so good. This is definitely a nighttime scent. Um, you can definitely wear it in the daytime, but if you're wearing it in the daytime, you want to wear it to an event or something. You don't want to just wear it just to wear it. I mean, you can. You can wear whatever you want, obviously, but just the vibes that I'm getting for this perfume, and even off the bottle, like, look at this. Like, it's just, it's just giving me sophisticated, grown, sexy, um, that's what this is giving me so yeah i've seen this at marshall's and i've also seen it at uh tj maxx um i already had it before i saw it there <laughs> and to be honest i should have bought more bottles while i saw it there but yeah so this is more on the affordable side i think when i saw it at marshall's it was like 30 dollars. so um definitely get your hands on this the longevity of it is so long this is the point where i'll spray this and i'll still smell it like later like in my closet 
Um, I think I had it sprayed on one of my pea coats like last winter and I still smell it on there. Like So the next fragrance that I have to show you guys is definitely a fragrance that I feel doesn't get enough love. No, I don't want to say love. It doesn't get enough attention on YouTube when it comes to these fragrance videos, okay? I feel like this fragrance right here is top notch it's definitely up there it's affordable but it is a little bit more on the pricier side but it's definitely still affordable um i believe i paid around 60 dollars for this like i said it's affordable but it is more on the pricier side this is olympia by paco Rabanne, and y'all i love paco Rabanne fragrances his fragrances are just amazing for both men and women and yeah i love this one it's definitely one of those scents that when you walk in a room people are going to notice you they will definitely notice you with this scent it's not going to be like a super strong like oh what she got on it's going to be like dang she smells good like what does she have on so the next fragrance that i have to show you guys is definitely an og <laughs> it's by chanel and it is mademoiselle this perfume right here my mom got for me and i i really like it a lot and it's funny because this was my first, um, I don't want to say like luxury, luxury fragrance, but it was, was it? Yeah, actually this was, this was my first like top notch, like luxury, luxury fragrance. My mom got it for me a couple years ago and she said, Miha, when you wear this, you only wear it when you're going to go somewhere fancy. You don't wear it every day because it's expensive. You wear it for the fancy. And I was like, okay, mom. So yeah, um, and honestly, I, I stick to her word when it comes to this. Um, it definitely is on the pricey side, but it is one of those perfumes that will last you a long, long time because you don't wear it every day. This is definitely an occasion scent, and it just smells so, mm, so good. Okay, so the last fragrance that I have to show you guys, <laughs> y'all know I love me some time for it. Well, I don't know if y'all know, but y'all know now. I love me some Tom Ford. Tom Ford fragrances are all unisex fragrances. And the thing about Tom Ford is his fragrances speak volumes. When you have on a Tom Ford fragrance, best believe you're going to feel like you're in your bag because people are going to be complimenting you. So this one right here is Tom Ford Black Orchid. Honestly, if I could have all the Tom Ford fragrances, I would, but they kind of pricey. But most of the time I'm wearing all black. I'm an all black type of girl. I just feel like all black just looks classy, looks elegant, looks sexy. When I walk into a room and I have on all black and I have this on, oh baby, that's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it, I'm getting compliments. <sighs> yes, so this fragrance right here is definitely it. Like I said, it is unisex, so men, women, whatever and this is another fragrance that i feel does not get enough love here on youtube honestly i have yet to hear anyone talk about this on their um fragrance videos so i definitely want to go ahead and share that too and that's one thing i was trying to do is i have a lot of fragrances but a lot of them are constantly talked about here on youtube with the fragrance video so i wanted to kind of bust out some fragrances that i really really enjoy that are definitely different so that way you guys can have a little bit more variety when it comes to stuff like this so thank you dossier once again for sponsoring this video thank you guys so much for supporting my channel if you guys like this video please leave it a thumbs up and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye